police came to our house with a social worker. And I remember what seemed like the longest day of my life. I was 12 and scared. They drove me to a building that was huge with lots of desks and people. And as we walked through the office, it felt like everyone was staring at me. I thought maybe everyone knew what happened to me. Some people smiled and someone brought me food. The social worker gave me crayons and paper and books, but I wasn't interested. I was interested in who she was calling and what she was saying. I heard no. I just don't think we can handle her. We're not interested in older children. My tummy hurt all day. I was there for over 10 hours. Finally, Ken and Evelyn said yes after the second time they were called. It was supposed to be for only three days, but they became my forever family. They treated me like their own daughter. I was lost, hurt and angry, and they saw potential, beauty, and something special. Through their commitment, I began to heal and gain confidence. They never gave up, and my life changed forever. My husband and I decided to do foster care, to pay it forward. We wanted to give an older child a place to call home. It was important to us to work with teens. Star remembers the day she came into our home. She said, I was happy because I was wanted, but sad because I didn't know how long I could stay. That fear was relieved as we stayed committed and two years later adopted her. We are the lucky ones to be a part of her life. The teen years can be some of the best memories of a person's life. Teens need someone to be there to guide them through the heartaches, triumphs, challenges, and successes. They need a place to call home forever. Waiting is tough. Imagine waiting for a family. <laughs>